my music down. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. It is, you can tell by the fact that I have no sleeves on, very warm here in North Carolina today. I just got done walking my doggies outside. And I think this is the first time um, in a long time, in probably at least six months, that I have gone outside with no sleeves and shoulders out because I usually get chilly like at the slightest bit, but it is toasty warm today. Spring has sprung. I've got neighbors with some beautiful tulips and daffodils out, which always made me happy. Those kinds of flowers always made me happy. And the reason tulips and daffodils and seeing those made me happy was that it for sure announced it as springtime and always meant when I was a little kid that my birthday was coming up soon. So I knew when those flowers came out of the ground, it was time to start thinking about what I wanted for my birthday. But that is not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Although my birthday is next month. <laughs> I will not send you my birthday list. Um, I am here to talk about life being the journey and not about where we're headed. And the reason this came to me is as I was walking the dogs and looking at the beautiful blue North Carolina sky and the clouds that were there, I just was reminiscing on the last several years of my life. And um, those of you who've been following me for a while know that I got divorced, um, it'll be five years ago, um, it's the process started in September or August, and the, the last five years has really been a whirlwind. Um, I had my mind so focused on where I was trying to get to after I, you know, had the divorce and went through the divorce, like this, this mythical, like, end point where, like, things would be great for me again and all these things would be lined up and blah, 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 that I realized that I have kind of missed some of the journey. Not all of it, because this last year I've been very, very much focused on the day by day. But, and then I started looking back even further and, and looking at like even being a kid and like wanting to then like rush to be older so I could go do things that the older kids could do. And then, you know, when you're in high school, you can't wait to get out of the house and go to college because then you can have your own rules and make your own decisions without your parents telling you what to do. And then once you're out in the workforce, then it's like, oh, I can't wait until I'm making X amount of dollars and I have this level of job so that then I can afford to buy these things, right? We just keep like putting um, like our, our focus on the future on when we get here or when we're making this much money or when we acquire these things that then we will be able to like slow down and pay attention, right? But what happens is you do get those things, but then there's always this next thing. It's like, it's like being in a boat and saying, hey, when we get to the horizon, we'll stop and have a sandwich and a drink. Well, the horizon, obviously, I mean, we use that as a line of focus, but the horizon doesn't, doesn't actually exist. So if you're in a boat in the ocean and you're like, well, once we get to the horizon, we're going to stop and do this and we'll relax, like you're going to be going forever because the horizon doesn't really exist. And that is what we tend to do with our lives. So we either do it as young people, we do it as adults. Um, you know, there's moms who are like, well, once my kids are in school, then I can go back to work and I can do these things. Like we put off like our happiness and our fulfillment for the future. And what happens when we do that and we all do it. So you're not, you know, I'm not pointing you out or calling you out as bad for doing this, but if we're not cognizant, we do that. And then what happens is you, kind of like have a shock moment in your life where so let's say you get divorced or you know an illness or something happens you lose a parent you lose somebody and all of a sudden you're shocked into like oh my gosh where did the last however many years go and why didn't I treasure every moment that I was with this person why didn't I focus on just enjoying what we were having and doing in the moment instead of putting my focus and my happiness out into the future. And the same thing can happen 
um, not just in your life, but in like your business or your career, right? So I can think about when I was in sales, right? I had spent 18 years in sales. When I was in sales, it was all about like, my boss was all about like metrics, 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 right? Like, how are you going to hit your numbers? And I had some guys on my team that would literally break it down to like per product, like how many of their customers need to sell, how, what combination of products for them to hit their numbers. And they'd make these complex spreadsheets and all this stuff. And then they would translate all that. Well, if all these guys do this, these things, things, then I'm going to make this, right? Um, hello, Lee. Tuning in from, in, uh, from YouTube. Um, so you, you put that out and these guys would put all this stuff out and my boss would ask me, well, Lorna, what, you know, what are your metrics? What do you guys, what do you have to do? And you know, when I was at my best, I didn't succumb to trying to break it down to how much of, of what thing each, um, customer needed to sell. I would literally just say, look, I know that I'm going to hit my goals. If I visit each of my customers X number of times per month and I spend X number of hours at the store and I do these particular things while I'm in the store and I help them with anything that they have that comes up, I know that I'm gonna hit my numbers because when I focus on taking care of my customers and taking care of my clients, like the, the numbers and the metrics and hitting the sales numbers that my boss wanted me to hit took care of themselves always. And when, as, whenever I operated in my career, when I was in sales, um, whenever I operated my career to just focus on taking care of my customers and my clients and doing the best that I could do for them, the money and the metrics always took care of themselves. Whenever I got pushed into doing it their way and doing it, focusing on the end of getting this particular result, it created stress, anxiety, and usually if I hit the mark, I barely hit it. Whereas when I did it the other way, it was just like, I would just blow the metrics out of the water. And so I, I kind of looked at like, well, same thing there applies with life, right? If we're like, Hey, I'm so focused on this. I got to hit this goal or in your business, I've got to hit, um, you know, $200,000 this year or this quarter or this month or whatever it is. Right? Like you're not enjoying yourself. You're not taking care of your customers. You're not taking care of your, your life and your spouse and your children. And what happens is things start to fall apart. <laughs> but if you take care of you and you eat right and you drink enough water and you take care of your customers and you take care of focusing on your clients and how can you serve them and being a good parent and being a good spouse and just focusing on those things that improve your life anyway and enjoying the moment, the rest of it takes care of itself. It's so crazy, but I, I've looked at, I've <laughs> on my walk, I was evaluating all these situations in my own life. I was evaluating and thinking back on, you know, family and friends and, and relationships I was in and, and the same thing for other people. And no joke. It's like, I didn't find an instance where this doesn't work. And so I was compelled to, to hop on here and make this video to remind everyone that life is about the journey. And no, I'm not saying don't have goals. That is not what I'm saying. So don't anyone say, hey, I have goals for my life. No, I'm not saying don't have goals. I'm saying set the goal and put it there. And then focus on paying attention to the little steps that get you closer. Don't just obsess about the goal way out there. Think about like, hey, what can I do today to take one step closer to that? And then how can I enjoy that process that I'm doing that while I'm doing it, right? And being there and living that moment and, you know, engaging with your spouse, engaging with your kids and being present for your life. And then before you know it, you've hit that goal because you put the attention on the right things to get there. But what happens is if we focus on the goal and we're obsessed about how far away it is and how can we get closer and why isn't it happening sooner and what can I push, push, push and how can I grind, grind, grind in order to get there, it's number one, gonna take a lot longer to get there. And number two, you're gonna have a horrible time getting there. And number three, you may actually not get there. And if you do, you may have burned everything else down in your life so that now that you have this goal, 
it doesn't even matter because you don't even have anyone or anything left to enjoy it with because you have burned every bridge around you. You have thrown everything else by the wayside. So you either won't get it at all or when you get it, you're going to be like lonely and sad. Think about people who like amass like mass um, fame and stuff, right? They're like, I'm just going to get famous and I got to do this. And they focus on it, they focus on it, focus on it, focus on it. That's like their whole thing. And then they end up like, you know, they don't have a spouse anymore. Their kids won't talk to them. Like all, they, they burn the bridges with everyone else in their life and then they're miserable and they end up like being a drug addict and an alcoholic and stuff because that was their only focus and they didn't remember that life was about the journey, not the destination. And when you think about life and, quote, the destination, depending on your religious or worldview or spiritual view, the destination is, for a lot of people, the grave, right? So if you're really worried about the destination, really the ultimate destination is the grave. Now, if you're saved and you believe you have new life in Jesus Christ, like I do, my ultimate destination is in God's kingdom. And that I very much look forward to. But if you don't have that spiritual belief and you're, you're worried all about the end, like it's all about getting someplace, really you're only getting to the grave, right? So enjoy the journey. Um, even if, you are like me and you are a Christian. You do believe that you'll have everlasting life with Christ. It's still amazing, which I'm looking forward to and we're all looking forward to, but they also want us to do good and do amazing things and we're here for a purpose. So let's do those things. Let's uplift others. Let's remember it is about the journey. Let's take the pressure off ourselves about hitting the certain place out there in the future or this goal out there at the horizon, take the pressure off yourself and just enjoy life now. Enjoy life now and do, do the little things that will get you closer to there while still enjoying the now with yourself, with your loved ones, with your pets, with your spouse, with your kids. Enjoy them now because none of us is promised tomorrow including our children or our pets. So you do not want to be that person who was so focused on this goal that was out on the horizon that you thought, well, I'll enjoy my family and my pets and my children and everything once I get there and you get there and they're not around anymore. Don't let that happen to you. I don't want that to happen to you. So, that's what I have to share. That's a piece of wisdom I have for this Friday that remember that life is about the journey. Relax and let go of needing to control the outcome. Set your goal, put it out there on the shelf, and just focus on enjoying all the little steps that lead there. And before you know it, you will be there in faster than you could ever imagine and in such a joyful way that you will really be able to enjoy it and you will not have run off everyone else in your life so that they can enjoy your success with you. So that is the little bit of wisdom that I have for you today. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, if you're struggling to like let yourself off the hook, let go of the anxiety of having to control everything, and you need some help with that. You need some help enjoying the journey and setting goals, but not being so obsessed with them that you run off everyone else in your life. I can help you with that. So if you want to learn more about how I can help you with that, or you just like, hey, Lauren, I've been watching your videos for a long time and I want to work with you like now, either of those things or anything else, you can text moon to 90407 as it scrolls across the bottom of my screen. And that will actually get you a link directly to my calendar sent to your cell phone so you can book a free consult with me. Or if texting is not your thing and clicking links from text is not your thing, you can direct message me and book a free consult. Reach out to me that way and I can help you book a free consult. Okie dokie. I wish you a beautiful, amazing weekend. Enjoy springtime. Watch, look at the tulips and daffodils, and get yourself outside and breathe some fresh air. Okay? Lots of love.